Guys, you'll never believe what I just found on this beach. I think I just found a dinosaur bone. So we're currently at a remote beach in Texas, cutting some rocks for our future videos. I was just taking a quick break to do some beach combing while Reese was cleaning the machine. And I walk about a hundred feet and I find this. I'm going to go get Reese. He's never going to believe this. Babe, come look what I just found. No, it's not another seashell. Come on. I'm telling you, it is way better than a seashell. Just, just wait. It's right there. It's a dinosaur bone, isn't it? Yeah, but what's it doing here? I told you. So I did some research for why we found this bone on the beach. Turns out it's because of the Colorado River. Now it's not the same Colorado River out west that heads into Mexico. Texas has its own Colorado River. It starts in a place called Dawson County about 600 miles north and flows out down here. About a thousand years ago, it used to flow out here in Sargent, but it changes direction over time and now it flows out in Matagorda Bay about 20 miles down the beach. Over time, this river has exposed a layers of mud that hide these dinosaur bones. It's then pushed them out into the ocean and allowed the currents to then push them back up on the beach, which is how we were able to find one out there. This is so cool. We love paleontology and we wouldn't have had any idea that this was a dinosaur bone if we hadn't have found before. There's a place north of Dallas called the North Sulphur River that has dinosaur bones just like this that you can discover. That's how we immediately could tell that this was a bone and not just a rock. One way of telling it's a bone is the way these lines look. This is due to water entering the bone over millions of years and things like iron and calcium have made their way in there turning it into more of a rock-like material. No other rock really looks like this so that's why it was a dead giveaway. So here's a bone from the North Sulphur River and you can see those lines of calcium and iron built up in them and here is the bone that we found on the beach. It's had a little bit of wear to it, but you can make out those similar types of lines, especially up here near the top. It must have been sitting on the beach for a pretty long time since it got pushed so far back. Most people are down here looking for the seashells and not too many people venture up here just due to the mosquitoes and the trash and all that type of stuff. And they're definitely not looking for dinosaur bones. Me on the other hand, I have an idea. So we've cut these things open before and they look epic on the inside. I wonder what one that's been sitting in the ocean for ages looks like on the inside. We should cut it open. All right, are you guys ready for the reveal? That's crazy. That's how you can tell this is a dinosaur bone. A rock doesn't usually have those crazy little patterns in it. You can see the bone inside of it still. You can see how it's been crystallized over time. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, that's cool. So the next time you come to the beach, don't just look for seashells, look for dinosaur bones. You seriously never know what you're gonna find. We have tons of cool rock videos coming up just like this one. So if you'd like to see what the inside of these things look like, make sure you hit that follow button to check out more of our videos.